d and nothing. So that's great. Ah, is there anything more refreshing in our little blue world than a new start? Even if it is a late one. New start? Those were the last two words in my sentence, Thomas. You are correct. They were also the 68th and 69th word. <laughs> the words you used to describe the new daily schedule that we developed together. A schedule that is meant to be instituted today. Just gonna shift this degree a couple degrees. Wait, when did we do that? Today. At 5 a.m. Mmm. Curse you, 5 a.m. Thomas. Leaving all the real work for 2 p.m. Thomas. Thomas, you are already a very multifaceted person. It might be a little too much if you now have a facet for every hour of the day. Well, it's happening. 2 p.m. Thomas is a thing now. Okay then, does 2 p.m. Thomas brush his teeth? Yes. In five more minutes. Now. Fine. Just out of curiosity, um, how busy did we plan for today to be? It was already a little inaccurate to regard today's schedule as the daily schedule, as today you have an inordinate amount of cleaning to do, but you also slept in four hours past when today's schedule was supposed to begin. So we're going to have to eliminate your breaks and carry out today's myriad of chores with what can only be described as supernatural expediency. Oh boy. I know. Isn't this so much fun? Now, set these alarms on your phone to keep track. Well, thank you, Logan. Ah, I especially appreciate how you schedule down to five minute increments. Ah, don't mention it. You don't have the time. strict about this today. So if you're not... Thomas, um, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? I'm okay. What is not okay is the number of dirty dishes in your sink. Now, come along. We have one more dish to dirty before we get started. Oh, breakfast. Gotcha. Let me change. This one, and you know it's this one. Oh, great. Okay. Is the schedule. I know, look how behind we are. I'm gonna need you to pick up the pace of it. You're going warp five, I needed at least warp seven. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain Kirk. I'm not a Starfleet captain, but if I were, I'd be Jean-Luc Picard. Oatmeal, two days in a row. 
I'm a dang health king. The nutritional value of oatmeal is just a bonus for today, but the main perk of this late breakfast is that it's instant oatmeal. We don't have time to muck about. <laughs> Do you know what muck spells backwards? What? Eh, wrong as usual. The answer, of course, is cacum. Oh, it's you. You. Oh, it's. Um. <laughs> Remus, you couldn't turn anything on if you tried. Ooh, Logan! What? Nothing is on except for Thomas's and my schedule for the day. Your schedule for the day? Huh. Well, it looks like Thomas is double booked! Who is up, dog? Damn! So close! Here's the real one. There's something in it. What if I, you know, what if I ch choke and there's nobody around to help me? Oh, um, I doubt you're going to choke on oatmeal. But you're not listening. There might be something in the oatmeal and if I choked, there would be nothing I could do because I'm all alone. And, and there's, I'd be screwed. You're right. Huh? That could happen. So, let's do something else. You should color. Logan, I'm a grown man. I would love to color. But I thought you said no bricks. You are fixating on a situation that is making you feel especially insecure. And that situation is out of your control. Dealing with this messy apartment would make you feel more secure, but it's also stressing you out because there's a lot to do and you don't want to do it. All of that is a perfect recipe for intrusive thoughts, which you aren't particularly well equipped to handle right now given your low self-esteem. So, instead, you should do something less stressful and completely in your control, like coloring, and by doing that, hopefully you'll be able to let the unpleasant thoughts pass you by. Yes! What about the dishes? Another time. If you say so. I eat you! Wow! Holy shit! Make me stab myself in the eye, will you? Well, I was a brat before, but now you'll see me at my brat worst. These coffee stains are rough. This isn't over yet. <gasps> oh, looks like somebody's not very concerned about home security. Well, it looks that way, but I know he is. <laughs> Did I leave the door unlocked? 
all night? Well, it certainly looks that way. Well, thankfully nothing came of it. Oh God! Anyone could have come in in the dead of night! <laughs> yes, well, I suppose that is a possibility. But the statistical probability of crime in this area is very low. You've checked. Multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> Look, the closet is begging you to be organized. You see, it's a humorous remark because closets aren't sentient. You, you knew they weren't sentient, right, Thomas? Oh, Logan, I am so sorry. And impressed by your reflexes. Coffee. Here. Oops. I did it again. Remember, in a situation like this, being hard on yourself is counterproductive. But, but this feels counterproductive. Ah, the Disney princess one I was saving. Do you remember what cognitive distortions are? Uh, yeah, it's when I'm perceiving things differently from how they really are. Usually in a bad way. And one kind of cognitive distortion is mad feelings over unlocked doors. Magnification. You couldn't have possibly thought that was right. It was a step. Magnifying something, or making things out to be bigger than they actually are, can also sometimes be called catastrophizing. A form of thinking that reacts to an event or experience by imagining how it can lead to a disaster. And that imagining is naturally where intrusive thoughts tend to thrive. That's not, well, yeah, that's, I, okay. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate your concern for the schedule, but when it comes to intrusive thoughts, you have to give yourself some time. There is no urgency or deadline when it comes to this. So let's give this a bit of a try and we'll move on to laundry in a moment. Okay. I'll go dump this on the coffee table. Ah, the coffee table that you just cleaned. It's Good. Yes! No! No, you were supposed to go to the closet, open the door, and be attacked by- Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Motherfucking oh! Ooh! Ow! Oh! Yes! Ah, oh, Remus. It's a real shame you can't learn your lesson. No, but I can! Please teach, give me another chance! Don't flunk me! I don't know what Mama's gonna do if I don't get into an Ivy League college! What? I'll be better! I'll prove it to you! I'll repent. Okay, well, you do that. All by myself. Won't fix this guy. All by yourself. Yes, Remus, lovely lyrics, well done. <sighs> There's still time to get things in order. Logan, are we gonna do this or what? It's not as fun if it's just me. Oh, good. 
good. This was literally my only white dress shirt. <sighs> Yup, left a ketchup packet in my pants again. Mm. Perhaps this can be taken as a reminder that one does not normally need emergency ketchup. <laughs> oh, oh, Logan, you, you are funny. No, I'm not. And besides the accidental smearing of selenum like a persicum, gross, you are well on your way to completing this task. Looks like someone is getting fired up. And that would be you in case it wasn't clear. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, you am. And this time I will make sure there are no catch. What? What do you want? Oh my god, you are so annoying. I was just being nice. Why don't you leave me alone? Take a hint! I... You're embarrassing. From the moment I met you. If you don't get rid of me, I'm gonna get rid of you. What the fuchsia? Time for some receptive music therapy, Thomas. Listen. Ow! Engage with the music. Allow yourself to refocus using its melody and rhythmic patterns. No! No! What? <sighs> what the hell? Shake what your mama gave you. Thank you, Logan. Of course. Uh, dance it out, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Remus, let's talk about today. <laughs> I am willing to concede that there is most likely some merit in what you are trying to do, and I think it could be necessary at some point, but perhaps you could also see the merit in what 
I'm trying to do. Trust me, what I'm implementing is and has been necessary for a long time. And it's not every day that Thomas is interested in carrying out this sort of thing. I assure you, it will be beneficial to Thomas in the long run, and that can only mean good things for all of us. There will be a time and place for you. <laughs> really? You're going to pretend that I don't exist, so I'll pretend you don't exist. I'm not doing that. Nor would I recommend that Thomas do that. Pretending that you aren't here would be unhealthy and only exacerbate the situation. I am merely providing Thomas with the tools to... Mm. You have importance. We all have our roles and should be acknowledged for those roles. Today, my role is to help Thomas become acclimated to his new schedule. I just want to help Thomas become the best version of himself he can be, and in order to do that, he needs to listen to me. Unlike yours, my methods aren't the flashiest, and it's not very often I get the chance to get through to him. Please understand my insistence on the matter. Remus? <coughs> Remus! <laughs> speaking my language. But who do you really want to scream that at? Mr. Sanders! Mr. Flores, you are video calling me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Is that all right? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, you get it. It's totally fine and normal for me to do this. <laughs> okay, well, I I'm sorry I missed your text. I was working a night shift and I... I ended up sleeping, like, all day. Uh, but I'm off tonight, though. I was gonna check out some art downtown if you wanted to come with. Oh, yeah, I, I like, art. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll run out and uh, meet you there. But, wait. Wait, Thomas, uh, what about our plan? Oh, I'll get to it. I will. I don't mean to harp on something that's already been established, but I assure you, adhering to this agenda would- <laughs> Another day, Logan, I promise. It'll be a job for, you know, tomorrow, Thomas, or, you know, day after tomorrow, Thomas. This is just really important. All right. I mean, it's not that bad. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. We can't thank you enough for the support that you all provide because without it, we wouldn't be able to do amazing things like what we got to do for this video. If you want to see more and would like to help us make more, go ahead and check out our Patreon. Janice's Corridor of Stored Rewards has a lot of bonus content. We do monthly live streams. Our team artist, Bree, just created some amazing downloadable art and posters. It is amazing. If you're able to support us over there, that would be amazing, but of course, no pressure. Even giving this video a like or subscribing is also incredible. We just just appreciate you so much, so thank you so much. Hello? Fresh? <laughs> it's been a while, you old so-and-so, but why are you calling me? You're worried the viewers may be struggling with meal planning and you want to help out and you want me to be the vessel to do so? Of course, I love your food! And that completely real conversation provided me the perfect segue to talk about how much I love it. HelloFresh offers multitudes of delicious recipes every week and to sweeten the deal, you can get dinner on the table in 30 minutes. Oh, 20 with the quick and easy options? <laughs> I didn't even know you were still on the line. HelloFresh has saved me a lot of time on busy weeknights that I now get to spend on bettering myself. <laughs> did you know that with HelloFresh you can change your food preferences, skip a week, or change your delivery days? Because I did. Last week when I was out of town, I changed my delivery day to today. Let's dig in! 
You want pork chops? Honey, they got them. You want honey? Pork chops, they got them. You want mustard? Oh, <laughs> you know they have mustard. I put them all together and these honey mustard pork chops, mmm, cut the mustard. That's just an expression. They didn't cut the mustard. It's a big part of the meal. But they did cut carbon emissions. HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than that of meals made from store-bought groceries. Their service provides the ideal meal no matter what might appeal. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, be it big on breakfast, looking for lunch, or down for some dinner. If you want to try it for yourself and see how good looking your cooking can be, just go to HelloFresh.com and use code THOMASSANDERS14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code THOMASSANDERS14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. All right, that is it, and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out! All right, now we get to go enjoy the end card. Oh, they grow up so fast <laughs> after 32 long years. Do you smell what the park is cooking? It's cooking love, that's what. And I'm serving it right to Thomas and his snack. Another job well done by yours truly. But you didn't do anything. Well, neither did you, thank Aphrodite. <sighs> if only Apollo had more influence today. He's busy being outshined by this princely pairing. So Thomas didn't wash a couple of dishes yet. Big deal. This might be key to something essential. You'll be fine. Rome didn't fall in a day. Well, that's a misquote. And so... Oh, come on, Logan. No need to be a pouty professor. Roman is right. I think we should all just be supportive of Thomas right now. He needs this. Oh, thank goodness you're giving him permission. Well, yeah, uh, of course I would. Everyone, shush! I'm reveling in the romantic tension. Oh, going with the flow? <laughs> yeah, the like opposite. The, yes, of it's what a... I so yeah, that's pretty much the piece in a nutshell, I think. I suppose this isn't the worst distraction Thomas could have. Look at this one. I I don't think Yeah, I don't it's not quite the point. Yes, everything is just fine.